Hey guys, I've used the Philips S9000 Prestige for the last 30 days. Let's talk you through the shave and see how it fares against a regular razor. Alright, full disclosure, we did receive the S9000 Prestige from Philips, but this is in no way a sponsored video, but a real conversation about our experience. Well, about his experience. But what is sponsored is the fact that Philips is giving one of you guys a free S9000 Prestige. So stick around to the end of the video to find out how you can participate. So what we're going to do is half my face is going to be shaved with this and the other half I'm going to shave with a traditional razor. In this case, a Gillette Mac 3. I want to see which one gives a closer shave and compare the two on the overall experience. So let's get started. We're going to do my right side with the S9000 Prestige. And as you can see, the shaver has a couple of settings on it. It has an on-off button, has a display showing the battery uh, percentage. So right now I've charged it up to 100%. And what it also has is a plus and minus button. And what that does is it changes the intensity of the shaver. It has three different settings. If you put it on the lowest setting, it does it on a slower speed, but that gives you also a more comfortable shave. And then you can increase the speed, but it will give you a less comfortable shave because it's trying to shave it off much quicker. So I was keeping on the lowest setting because I have quite a, a dense and thick beard, so I want to, I want as much of a comfortable shave as I can get. So that's the setting I'm going to be using it on today. So let's get started. So the S9000 Prestige looks prestigious, does it not? It's a shaver, so. Yeah, but it's got a classy ergonomic design and the way it's shaped with the grippy feel is comfortable in the hand to shave with. But if there's one downside I gotta mention is that it's a fingerprint magnet, similar to my Samsung Galaxy S9 with loads of fingerprints as well. And now the S9000. But it's not like you take your S9000 to a meeting to give a presentation or something, is it? Is it? So as you can see, I've just done the cheeks, well, part of it at least, and it's quite smooth to the touch. And the coverage is quite nice as well. I didn't have to do too many passes to get, uh, to get all the hairs. All right, let's continue to the jaw and the neckline. And what did you think, Kevin, about the shape of the head? Because this is not like a normal razor, is it? Mm -hmm. So the S9000 has that classic triangular head that Philips is known for, as opposed to Braun with its foil head, but it's comfortable to shave with. It's flexible in all directions, but there are some hard to reach areas. What kind of areas are we talking about? For areas like your sideburns or neck, it's not easy to get a straight line with the S9000. And that's why Philips has included a detailer. Just remove the shaving head and click it into the shaver. Dirty mind. Speaking of dirty, how easy is this to clean? Nice save. I know. Very simple, you just pop open the head, dump out the hairs in your sink, rinse it under running water, put the head back on and pop it onto your wireless charger. Speaking of charger, Kevin, did you ever think yeah. that we would live yes. in a world where you have to charge your shaver yeah. wirelessly? No. No, but it is a cool feature if you've got a wireless charging capability on your phone. Show it to my friends all the time. No, I don't. I don't let them into my bathroom. That's weird. So I've just done the jaw and the neckline down here. Gotta say, I mean, pretty smooth experience as well. And, you know, no pulling, no tugging, so that's important. And what's also important to notice is it doesn't get hot to the touch which means you're not going to suffer from skin irritation and me personally and maybe some of you out there as well have had that with previous electric shavers where the head gets really hot and it causes irritation down here. We're well, not going to have that with this because I've been shaving for a bit now and it doesn't feel hot to the touch at all. So it's done the chin and the lip, the upper lip quite well as well. And this is where, you know, generally the beard growth is the toughest around the mustache area and the chin, but Shaver had no problem with that. 
Right, so overall very good. I mean, didn't take too many passes, but I did have to do many more passes around the jawline and the neck. Um, it's just not able to get those as easily as it does on the cheek and the mustache and the chin area. Um, so that's something to note. Maybe what you don't see on camera, but what I generally get with using electric shavers, and it's no different with the S9000, is uh, a dry skin when I dry shave it. So yeah, you make sure to hydrate once you use it, but that's a general tip. That was the shaver, and as you can see, I've used about 3%, but I generally, for a full a shave, I use about 10%, so just to give you an idea. And just a side note, I've not done anything to my beard, I've just showered this morning and, uh, and here I am. Uh, so didn't do any special pre-shave kind of uh, treatment to my face. And also this is a six day beard. So Philips says that it can handle a seven day beard. So I'm kind of putting it to its test with a six day beard. And it handled it no problem. So I think it could take on a couple of days longer beards as well, no problem. But right now I'm gonna have to get messy. All right guys, all lathered up and ready to go with the razor. So I'm curious myself because in the last 30 days I've only been using the, uh, the S9000. So I actually don't know how the result is going to be with a, with a normal razor. I just applied some normal shaving gel from Gillette as well, nothing special. Okay Kevin, here we see that you're using the razor in one direction only. Why didn't you consider using it against the grain? Well I've done that in the past and uh, what happened was I actually got an ingrown hair. Uh, and after googling it, I found out that you're not supposed to do that. It just increases the chances of ingrown hairs. So yes, it could give you a temporarily closer shave, but it has its risks, so I'd avoid doing that. All right guys, just shaved using the razor and I cleaned myself up, put some cold water to close up the pore so I can get a good look at it. To be honest, I'm, uh, I'm quite surprised. I actually thought the razor would beat the shaver, but now looking at it, I actually think, no, I actually know that the uh, shaver gave a closer shave, especially when it when I when I look at the cheeks here. Um, I can actually see the hairs a bit more here compared to uh, compared to on this side. Impressive! Uh, I did not expect it. I really thought that the razor would win. Okay, uh, Kevin, this is not a cheap device, right? Um, but would you buy this device for yourself? So, we did a little comparison. The S9000 Prestige with the wireless charger compared to a Gillette Mac 3 costs significantly more over a four year span. However, if you find the wireless charger a bit too futuristic for your taste, then you can also buy the S9000 without it and save yourself a couple of tenors. But I've got one thing to say, ain't cheap to be classy. Also the Mac 3, I don't believe it can charge your phone wirelessly, so something to think about. First of all, as we saw, there is absolutely no preparation required. You don't need shaving gel, you don't need water, only to clean it. The other point is that because the head of the shaver doesn't get hot to the touch, mm -hmm. you've just got less risk of any skin irritation and I've experienced that myself. Also, because it's a safety shaver, you don't have any risks of cutting yourself, as long as you use it as advised. Yeah. And also, you don't have to think about replacements for quite a long time. And finally, it also gives you a closer shave when it comes to the cheeks, the chin, and the upper lip. But if you're feeling cheap, um, then you might want to go for the razor, and there are a couple of advantages. And one of them is that it's actually quicker despite the preparation that you need to do with shaving gel and hot water. And one of the reasons for that is that it has better coverage. You just have to overall do less passes. Uh, you hit and go and you've got those hairs pretty much all the time. And also you cannot possibly ignore how much significantly cheaper a regular razor is. And guys, if you feel like trying out the S9000 Prestige for yourself, check out the contest link in the description below and see how you can participate. And we'll be picking a winner on this date. You've been shaving. And we've been DHRME.